Okay. Hi, Tony. My name's Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Nice How are you? All right? You. Yeah, good. Yeah, my instructor is uh, gone playing golf again. Yeah, yeah it's lucky for yeah. Sam, isn't it? Like He's always is, uh, playing golf. His name is Tiger Woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said to me, because um, I got my test next week, that mm. we're just going to have a look at this progress, hesitancy, and normal row positioning. Good, okay. We'll deal with that today. All right. Um, so, what do you understand by progress? Oh, getting on with it. Being business like. Yeah, it's, it's if the, if um, if the speed limit is forty miles an hour, what speed are you going to be doing? Oh, if it's say forty mile an hour. Yeah, and why is that? What if you're doing? If it was forty and you were doing twenty miles an hour. That would be. Might be forcing people behind me to overtake, wouldn't they? Exactly. And what do you know about hesitancy? What do you understand about that? Oh, it means adjunctions and that and roundabouts I'm not going when I should do. Yeah. Or I think my my instructor said it's either lack of judgment or uh, lack of preparation. Yeah. Um, in the early stages I used to not be prepared at traffic lights. I was a bit slower getting away. Mm. But I think I've sorted out now. A bit worried. Okay, and um, what's your what's your normal road uh, road positioning? How far away from the curb should you be? Or, or say, take this road for example. You're driving along. Where would you be positioning yourself? Oh, about a metre from the curb. Excellent. Okay, I think the best thing then is just to go get on with it and see what you can All do. Right. If you have any any problems, we'll line them out. Okay. Okay. So if you'd like to um, set yourself up and start with your setup, so start the car in your normal, normal way, carry on as normal. Now we're going to turn left. And we're going to take the next turn left, please. Oh, first time I've not done that. <laughs> Sorry, Tony, can you set your mirrors up, please? What can you see? Oh, I can see the top and bottom of the back window, the edge of my headrest, the edge of yours. 10% mm -hmm. car and the rest down the road. And the same with this mirror. Good, okay, I'm happy with that now. Sorry about that. That's right, my fault, I should have checked. too slow down the road and it's it's quite clear as that one was you might get a car overtake you just thinking i'll oh, get a move on so we'll try and overtake you and then if there's a car turning in or turning out the driveway they could hit, hit them all oh, right yeah so uh, do your speed in the in the uh, distance you can see to be clear all oh, right yeah. i mean if there were cars parked to meet the side then you were doing the perfect speed for that Less space, more speed, but less space, less speed. If it's quite clear, you can see. Yeah, I just don't want to be a boy, uh, a boy racer. Oh no, you wouldn't be a boy racer. Not doing 20 miles an hour. You know, you get speed bumps in the road. Yeah. You do 20 miles an hour with them. So that, that would have been a, a good speed for that road. Then you wouldn't do 60. Oh, right. But 
on a dry conditions like this. You're a bit um, your own position should be here, so maybe. when it's clear to go. That, that AA van was quite way back there. So do you have um, a way of judging that it's, it's clear to go? So you give way to the right. Now we're going to follow the road straight up. We'll follow the road straight up, please. I did actually see it was clear, but I had to get my first gear, didn't I? And uh, by the time I got my first gear, it was... 
but you'll find because the cars to your left will be waiting for you because they have to give way to the right it's like now sorry I said I'd stop you in the roundabout but you were clear to go there you'll find if you once you are coming up to a roundabout a mini one like that one if you if you just ease off the brake and just check into to the right if there's nothing coming you're clear to go so you can carry on going on a major roundabout if there's nothing coming from your right then you can go because the cars from your left will be waiting for you <coughs> or you can actually judge you see if the cars if you imagine the roundabout's a clock and if you look to 12 o'clock you can see what's happening at the roundabout right so on this roundabout we're going to turn right so as we approach the roundabout i want you to look to your right and tell me would you go before or after this black car oh, before yeah yeah you've got time to do that Good, much better. So that way you're not holding people up. Because the idea of roundabout is for smooth traffic control. Right. And if, obviously if something was coming, you would wait for them. But if it is clear and you have time. Now we're gonna follow the road straight. I'm gonna follow the road straight, please Tony. This is a mini roundabout. So as you approach, I want you to scan to the right. You are gonna to have to, to, to stop, so into normal routine and as you approach to look to the right is it clear oh, yeah. then you're clear to go slow the, uh, when once the lights change Tony if you find if you um, the lights have been red for a while if you get yourself prepared ready to move and you won't have that delay when the lights change what do you mean by get myself prepared um, into first gear ready to move all right <clears throat> especially if you're the first three cars at traffic lights same as now the zebra crossing so the zebra crossing was clear, so there was no need to slow down as much because you just hold the traffic up from behind. Does that make sense? So the reason why I was slow away from the pedestrian lights back there was... was that I was in neutral instead of in first gear, yeah? Yeah, if you get... It's okay to be in neutral and um, handbrake on in neutral, but the traffic lights, you have to, to, you know, plan ahead. The traffic lights have been red for, for a while, so they were going to change. Pedestrian lights. Pedestrian lights, sorry. They were going to change. So if you get yourself prepared, like, in, ready into first gear, and ready to move, then you're, you're prepared. So when they do change and the traffic starts moving, yeah, you move, right. take next turn right, you start moving with it. Otherwise, you're going to hold people up behind, and there's a chance they may overtake you. Yeah, so I should be in first gear. Is that what you're saying? In first gear, ready to move. Yes. So is that because I wasn't in first gear? Is that what delayed me getting away? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Well, okay. Let's let's look at what hesitancy is, it's either lack of judgment or lack of what? Confidence. No, preparation. Preparation. Yeah. Yeah. So if I slip into one now, I'm prepared, am not I? Yeah. So what would lack of preparation mean? Not being ready to move. In plain English terms, talking to an idiot like me, what would lack of preparation be that would cause me to be hesitant getting away? Not being in first gear. Exactly. Yeah. So it's lack of judgment or lack of preparation, yeah? Yeah. If I'm not prepared to go, even though it's only a second or two, it means that I'm going to be slow away, yeah? Yeah. It's about forward, it's all about forward planning and awareness. Yeah, if you look at, if you look at hesitancy as 
it's either going to be lack of preparation or lack of judgment, yeah? Right. And we'll turn right here. And we'll turn right here. So as we came up to the roundabout, you were talking about the face and clock. Mm. And you told me to look early. Mm. That improved my judgment, didn't it? Yeah. And helped me to work my judgment. Yeah. But then what I was playing around with was my lack of preparation. Right. And I'd done that right pretty much from the beginning of the hesitancy stage. I was coming up and stopping in the gear I was in and then going into first gear afterwards. Right. So if you scanned to the right and it was clear, you could have stayed in second gear and carried on, just bring your speed down. Yeah, but then with the pedestrian lights, I came up and had a couple of cars in front of me, I stopped and put the handbrake on and went into neutral. Yeah. And they were all gone and there was me sitting there um, finding first gear and letting the handbrake down there. Yeah, so... So that was lack of um, preparation. Preparation, right? yeah. So if you'd approached Gone into first gear ready to go rather than put into handbrake neutral. Yeah. Yeah. So you could have been first gear ready to go, handbrake on. Yeah, well, in that case, I didn't, even, I, I didn't actually even need the handbrake, did I? No, because they were starting to move as we approached. Now we're going to turn left. And we turn left into this road. that hesitancy there. Okay. Hi Tony, my name's Sheila. Hi Sheila, nice how are you alright? Yeah, good. Yeah, my instructor has uh, gone playing golf again. Yeah, yeah it's lucky yeah. for Sam, isn't it? Like He's always is, uh, playing golf. His name is Tiger Woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said to me, because um, i got my test next week, that mm. we're just going to have a look at this progress, hesitancy and normal road positioning. Good, okay. We'll deal with that today. Alright. Um, so what do you understand by progress? Oh, of getting on with it, being business-like. Yeah, it's, it's if, 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 um, if the speed limit is 40 miles an hour, what speed are you going to be doing? Oh, if it's, say, 40 miles an hour. Yeah, and why is that? What if you're doing, if it was 40 and you were doing 20 miles an hour? That would be, might be forcing people behind me to overtake, wouldn't they? Exactly, and what do you know about hesitancy? What do you understand about that? Oh, it means... And junctions and that and roundabouts I'm not going when I should do yeah or I think my my instructor said it's either lack of judgment or uh, lack of preparation yeah um, in the early stages I used to not be prepared the traffic lights I was a bit slower getting away mm. but I think I've sorted out now a bit worried okay and um, what's your what's your normal road uh, road positioning, how far away from the kerb should you be? Or, or say, take this road for example, you're driving along, where, where would you be positioning yourself? Oh, about a metre from the kerb. Excellent, okay. I think the best thing then is just to go get on with it and see what you can All do. Right. If you have any, any problems, we'll line them out. Okay. Okay. So if you'd like to um, set yourself up and start with your setup, so start the car in your normal, normal way, carry on as normal. Turn left. And we're going to take the next turn left, please. I'll have to just pull over, I forgot to sit by my mirror as well. Oh. First time I've not done that. <laughs> Sorry, Tony, can you set your mirrors up, please? What can you see? Oh, I can see the top and bottom of the back window, the edge of my headrest, the edge of yours. 10% mm -hmm. car and the rest down the road, and the same in this mirror. Good, okay, I'm happy with that now. Okay. Sorry about that. That's right, my fault, I should have checked. Turn left at the end of the road. At the end of the road, when it's 
turning left. <clears throat> you're going too slow, what will be the consequences? Not that really, no. But if you're going too slow down the road, and it's, it's quite clear as that one was, you might get a car overtake you. Who's thinking, I'll oh, get a move on, so we'll try and overtake you. And then if there's a t car turning in or turning out the driveway, they could hit, hit them. All oh, right, yeah. So, if, uh, do your speed in the, in the uh, distance you can see to be clear. All oh, right, yeah. I mean, if there were cars parked on either side, then you were doing the perfect speed for that. There's less space, more speed, uh, less space, less speed. If it's quite clear, you can see. Yeah, I just don't want to be a boy uh, racer. Oh no, you wouldn't be a boy racer. Not doing 20 miles an hour. You know, you get speed bumps in the road. Yeah. You do 20 miles an hour with them. So that, that would have been a, a good speed for that road.
got parked cars now, so that you, know, you need to. Uh, yeah, I think I've just. I think I've got the right position now. I'll, I'll just watch you and, and uh, see how you go on that. Right. And at the roundabout, we're going to turn right. The roundabout will be turning right. You stop there when it's clear to go. That, that AA van was quite way back there. So do you have um, a way of judging that it's, it's clear to go? So you give way to the right. Now we're going to follow the road straight. We'll follow the road straight, please. I did actually see it was clear, but I had to get my first gear, didn't I? And uh, by the time I got my first gear, it was. But you'll find, because the cars to your left will be waiting for you, because they have to give way to the right. It's like now, sorry, I said I'd stop you in the roundabout, but you were clear to go there. You'll find if you, once you are coming up to a roundabout, a mini one like that one, if you, if you just ease off the brake and just check into to the right, if there's nothing coming, you're clear to go, so you can carry on going. On a major roundabout, if there's nothing coming from your right, then you can go, because the cars from your left will be waiting for you. <coughs> or you can actually judge, you see if the cars, if you imagine the roundabout's a clock, Look to 12 o'clock, you can see what's happening at the roundabout. Right. So, on this roundabout, we're going to turn right. So, as we approach the roundabout, I want you to look to your right and tell me would you go before or after this black car? Oh, before, yeah. Yeah, you've got time to do that. Good, much better. So, that way you're not holding people up. So the idea of roundabout is for smooth traffic control. Right. And if, obviously, if something was coming, you would wait for them. But if it is clear and you have time... Now we're going to follow the road straight. I'm going to follow the road straight, please, Tony. This is a mini roundabout, so as you approach, I want you to scan to the right. You are going to have to, to, to stop, so into normal routine. And as you approach, to look to the right. Is it clear? Oh, yeah. Then you're clear to go. Slow the uh, once the lights change, Tony. If you find if you um, the lights have been red for a while, if you get yourself prepared, ready to move, and you won't have that delay when the lights change. What do you mean by get myself prepared? Um, into first gear, ready to move. All right. <clears throat> Especially if you're the first three cars at traffic lights. Same as now the zebra crossing. So the zebra crossing was clear, so there was no need to slow down as much because you just hold the traffic up from behind. Does that make sense? So the reason why I was slow away from the pedestrian lights back there was was that I was in neutral instead of in first gear. Yeah. Yeah. If you get. It's okay to be in neutral and um, handbrake on in neutral, but the traffic lights you have to, to 
you know, plan ahead. The traffic lights have been red for, for a while, so they were going to change. Pedestrian lights. Pedestrian lights, sorry. They were going to change. So if you get yourself prepared, like in, ready into first gear, and ready to move, then you're, you're prepared. So when they do change and the traffic starts moving, yeah, you move, right. take next turn right, you start moving with it. Otherwise, you're going to hold people up behind and there's a chance they may overtake you. Yeah, so I should be in first gear, is that what you're saying? In first gear, ready to move, yes. So is that, because I wasn't in first gear, is that what delayed me getting away, yeah? Um, I'm not sure. Well, okay, let's, let's look at what the hesitancy is. It's either lack of judgment mm -hmm. or lack of what? Confidence. No, preparation. Preparation. Yeah. Yeah. So if I slip into one now, I'm prepared, am not I? Yeah. So, what would lack of preparation mean? Not being ready to move. In plain English terms, talking to an idiot like me, what would lack of preparation be that would cause me to be hesitant getting away? Not being in first gear. Exactly. Yeah. So it's lack of judgment or lack of preparation, yeah? Yeah. If I'm not prepared to go, even though it's only a second or two, it means that I'm going to be slow away, yeah? Yeah. It's about forward, it's all about forward planning and awareness. Yeah, if you look at, if you look at hesitancy as it's either going to be lack of preparation or lack of judgment, yeah? Right. And we'll turn back. And we'll turn right here. So as we came up to the roundabout, you were talking about the face of the clock. Mm. And you told me to look early. Mm. That improved my judgement, didn't it? Yeah. And helped me to work my judgement. Yeah. But then what I was playing around with was my lack of preparation. Right. And I'd done that right pretty much from the beginning of the hesitancy stage. I was coming up and stopping in the gear I was in and then going into first gear afterwards. Right. So if you scanned to the right and it was clear, you could have stayed in second gear and carried on. Just bring your speed down. Yeah, but then with the pedestrian lights I came up and I had a couple of cars in front of me, I stopped and put the handbrake on and went into neutral. Yeah. And they were all gone and there was me sitting there um, finding first gear and letting the handbrake down, yeah? Yeah, so... So that was lack of um, preparation. Preparation, right? yeah. So if you'd approached, gone into first gear ready to go, rather than putting into handbrake neutral... Yeah. Yeah. So you could have been first gear ready to go, handbrake on, yeah, well in that case I didn't even, I, I didn't actually need, even need the handbrake, did I? No, because they were starting to move as we approached. Now we're going to turn left. And we turn left into this way. Mm. Was that hesitancy there? Well, you wanted me to go earlier, didn't you? No. No, I weren't sure if you were being hesitant or not because they'd crossed the, the zebra, but you still hadn't started to move or prepared to move. So I don't know if you were making a mistake there or not. No. No? So just what, you, what, you wanted me to go while they're, while they're actually on the zebra? No. I went as soon as they moved up the zebra, didn't I? No, you sort of waited. This is why I've got to look, this is why I'm asking you because I've got to look out for this. You know, I don't want to. That's no, how the SE's driving, but was or was he being hesitant? So no, I wasn't being hesitant. No. You were. Okay. So you, are you ready? To prepared yourself, Tony, in first gear, ready to go. Oh, you need to be in first gear, don't you? Yeah, because his lights going to change soon. Good, much better. You don't hold people up behind you. Just start cursing you. 
and if there was a, somebody running for the lights they may have thought you were going to wait for them as well. Right. Oh, people are so impatient aren't they? Oh, there are you. Now we're going to turn them. So when are you going to go? I'm going to go now. Good. Judgment side of it. Okay. Yeah, then. yeah, I'm, I'm happy now with your judgment. You've got a lot better on the roundabouts now. You're looking and getting, and uh, your judgment seems to have improved. What about my preparation? And your preparation's a lot better now. So um, I'm happy with that. I'll hand them over to you, but I will keep an eye on you. should you be behind this car in front? Do you know about the two second rule? Yeah, I've done a problem with that. No, it's nothing to do with, nothing to do with this then. on the forum was saying watch the videos it might have been Kenny actually he said uh, you weren't throwing in as many was it as much humour or something as you usually do something like that what is he referring to? referring to you and watching me on, on the feed yeah like you're giving me an easy time of it but basically you haven't been throwing as much comments in as you normally do like humour videos last week. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember word for word what he said, but it was something like that. He was basically giving me an easy time. You know, anyone else you'd have been giving them a harder time with, you, right. with your humour, you know, not, right. not the work itself. Now we're going to turn right. <clears throat> we take next turn on the right this time. Well, somebody did comment that uh, they were a bit disappointed that the trunk monkey didn't make an appearance. Yeah, what's that all about? Sorry? What's all that all Well, if you don't read the forum, I'm not, I'm not going to explain it to you. Yeah, it must be an old thing. I don't want to try Well, you don't even know about my take? No. Well, you just need to spend a bit more time on the forum, don't you? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to turn left. I'm going to take this turn left, please. Yeah, my bloody test coming up. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a trunk monkey. Oh, it's a joke. I'll actually uh, I'll email it to you later on. Okay. So would they be... Yeah, hesitant at junctions as well, wouldn't they? They could be hesitant at junctions, and that's where you've got the walk across, drive across, judgment law. Yeah, they'll... They will tend to use roundabouts, because roundabouts are quite easy to play around with hesitancy mm -hmm. without holding, holding traffic up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, just have a have a quick chat about the, the little bit on progress, hesitancy, and normal road positioning. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start off with the um, yeah. You nailed it quite well with me going going too slow. I was going way too slow, and you gave me all the reasons and the the becauses and the consequences and everything. And then uh, I came out and we turned left, and then I came to the national speed limit, and. You should have been concentrating on getting me up to the speed limit and then start going into the... As soon as I said it, I thought that. You, always, you could well, have said control first, then... Well, you could have backed off straight away and just realised that... Lord help me to keep my mouth shut until I know what I'm talking about, yeah? Um, I'm only joking. 
Yeah, yeah. What you needed to do um, because there was cars behind me was get me moving up to sixty mile an hour or fifty mile an hour, fifty five, mm. and then yeah, go into the reasons why it's um, I'm being in pain in the backside by going so slow. Yeah. Mm. Then you went into road positioning for some reason. I felt you were too close to the curb. But you obviously weren't. No. Mm. I, hadn't, I hadn't touched the right positioning at that point, did you? Yeah. Um, you, you were still dealing with the with the speed fault. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't start playing around with the with the right positioning at that point. Would they do that? There was no reason to. I mean, if they're going to play around, around with the road positioning, it's either going to be too close to the left or too close to the right. Mm. And, it's, and it's going to be very obvious. And I don't know why you actually started picking on that at that stage. Because mm. um, I thought I thought that's what you were doing. I thought you were purposely going too close to the left because of the road, you know, the, because of the subject. Well, you mentioned to me when I did actually get my road positioning wrong. You mentioned the tram lines. Mm. I mean, you can use the tram lines where you're sitting as well, yeah? Mm. Um, I mean, obviously, I will watch the video back and I hope, <laughs> I hope I don't find that I was too close to the left. No, no I, wasn't, I wasn't too close to the left. I was, I was only sitting there going, oh! <laughs> no, it was a very narrow road and yeah. I, I just felt it was, I mean, maybe just a bad passenger. <clears throat> but I wasn't sure, because we, we were sort of still dealing with the speed thing, whether or not you would have thrown that in as well, because obviously I don't know no. what they do. No, when I, when I started getting the road, if the SE is going to play with the road position, you, you will notice it. Uh, it's not going to be a slight little... It'll be like you did, like that, <laughs> over the line. Oh, yeah. the reference thing when you put yeah. it like this. Yeah, 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 let's finish one thing at a time. Obviously, Sorry, okay. obviously, come to the reference point. <coughs> Why did you go down that road after after you know you shouldn't have done? And I know you shouldn't have done because we've covered this subject off video before. What made you go with that? What, left of centre? No, what made you go with, have you got a reference point? For being left of centre? Because you went over the line. Now, listen to my question. Mm. Why did you fall into the trap of going, have you got a reference point? What did you? What did I do when you said that to me? You went like that. And what, that, what happened to the steering? It went over. <laughs> yeah, and are you surprised? <laughs> no, because, well, If it's nothing to do with the PST, then... It is, it is to do with the PST. Because you went over the line... I went over the line, yeah. Mm. And so then, there's obviously a reason then, why you went you, over the line. And then you started to work on how I correct that. Mm. Okay, you, you use the tram lines, good mm. one to use, yeah. Um, you use the uh, look well ahead. Mm. That didn't that didn't work because obviously I'm looking to see if you've got anything else to help me with. And then you had a go at the mirrors. And then we came up to the roundabout and I turned left. And then for some reason you chucked in. Have you got a reference point? Mm. If you're gonna if you're gonna ask that question, um, and I don't I don't recommend you do ask that question on the move. Well, I wouldn't now after you did that. <laughs> well, I thought you did that anyway. Oh, you don't mention reference points on the move. It is possible to mention a reference point on the move, but you have, but you have to cover your backside by saying, "I don't want you to take your hands off the wheel and don't point." Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go there. Don't um, if he doesn't go with the the tram lines or check the left mirror, check the right mirror, equal distance from the curb and the white line, look well ahead. If he doesn't go with them then he is probably looking for a reference point. So what you, what what I would say, because it's, it's my attempt at par three, mm. I would say uh, if we can find a, a quiet road where we can stop in a normal driving position and we will check to see if the reference point is lining up. But you don't do it when you're doing 60 miles an hour. You don't do it at any speed. Mm. And... The SE at that point will realise that, okay, you have got the knowledge of the reference point, and you probably say, okay, I've got it now, yeah? Mm. But I still think you're a, you're a bit flustered about where I'm coming from here, yeah? Mm. 
Oh yeah. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying, and obviously you've got to pick your moments when you do it. But there was, I would say, as a learn, as you know, to me, there's a reason why you went over the line, and I, th I call that lack of judgment, if you like, why you went over the line, and that's why I asked you if you had a reference point. Right. So how did you, how did you come at the subject? How did you, how did you try and solve my problem to begin with? By the tra asking about the tram, tram lines, lines right? Yeah. Did it work? No, you said you no. couldn't see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So, obviously, I'm not. I'm not.